the construction of mobile phone detector. In this video, I will be revealing to you how I undergo what they call construction and write-up of a project from chapter 1 to chapter 6. No matter what project you might be doing now, you can use this as a guide to direct you on how to do yours. From chapter 1 to chapter 6, I'm explaining each, each steps that you need. In chapter 1, what, what are needed there, you, I, have, I, I explain it in this video. For example now, this is a project on mobile phone detector. We are six in the group, we've said. And the project was reported to the Protagonist Battle, this subscription. This satisfied that this project work, the construction of mobile phone detector was carried out by the, the list of names. Don't mind those two matric numbers that are not following the in accordance to the previous ones. Now this is where your supervisor and HOD will sign. Okay, a project report submitted to the Department of Electrical Engineering in partial fulfillment for an award of what? Award of National Diploma in the Polytechnic Department or whatsoever school you can be. You can be, say, University of Nebraska. You can be in University of Oxford, anywhere you are. Now, look at this acknowledgement. First of all, we talk about dedication. After that, we have acknowledgement. In dedication, you're just dedicating it to what God. Instead of you to add a project research, if you are consulting, you say a project construction to God Almighty and also to my parents and friends. Don't use project research. It's when you are undergoing a study that you say project research. But when you are doing a construction, you say that project construction. You can see I correct it there as project construction. Okay, so friends for the moral and financial support. Okay, now we're going to look at acknowledgement. In this page, normally is in page three. In this page, just look at mine. I would like to thank the Almighty God for giving me strength and wisdom throughout this project. I would also like to extend my sincere gratitude to my supervisor, Mr. Iti Okpale, for his guidance when we are undertaking this project. I will say gratitude to the technical staff of the Department of Electrical Engineering Department. Can see that? When working on abstract, our project supervisor gave us his, his own write-up, his own techniques like now, what formulates that project. For instance, our project supervisor gave us this topic and what we did was that we have to look at what can it detect. This is the mobile phone we are talking about. What, what can it detect? At what range can it detect? Can I see from 0 0.9 to 3 gigahertz can detect. We talk about the main discussion on it. We talk about some things, the future of it. We talk about some discussion. We talk about how, when it has existed before. Since when it has existed before. All these things we listed on our abstract. Now this the content, you have the table of contents, title page, certification page, dedication page, and you are going to number it serially. Okay, now chapter one is having what they call introduction, background of the study, statement of the problem, research objective, contribution to knowledge, limitation or scope of project, methodology definitions. Why chapter two, we have literature review, a brief outline of the mobile phone detector, a brief historia background of mobile phone detector, chairs and concepts. Now, each supervisor have his own way he wants his own project write up to be so it's advisable you go to your supervisor and ask him to him to give him his his uh, for him or her to give you his or her guidelines on how to write chapter one to six now whatever guideline he give to you you can use this explanation i'm giving from one to six to write yours and a successful one we did our own as the first student in the whole of the school to submit his own guide top. Very good and very excited. Even our, our spectators on that day told us that our right top was the best. Imagine that. So you can also have something better. The right top was so good. Mm. And chapter 6, we have a suggestion for further studies and so on. Then we have the list of figures. Wolfhound, Pound, and so, such, all those places we have all those pictures, all those figures like drawing, diagrams. We're going to put that at list of figures and with each number 
the number like work found pro mobile phone dictator if you go to page 11 you're going to see it please don't mind the color of it mm, you can correct yours and uh, so at each of those figures should have their numbers that when the supervisor should look pick a number where you put any list of figure when going there you should meet exactly what you have written so far like now at our Mante Ray mobile phone dictator at page 12 you go to page 12 you're going to say Mante Ray mobile phone dictator and all this uh, list of what list of figures we'll talk about table of contents we'll talk about everything that we're going to see there we'll talk about chapter one chapter two chapter three chapter four chapter five chapter six now we want to look at how they are being written look at my chapter one introduction background of the study we're talking about mobile phone dictator for instance mobile phone dictator is used to detect phone in exam halls to see students that will illegally bring phones inside you know that nowadays uh, checking of students or frisking to students to check if uh, they are having phones they are not much useful now because of why is that some students can come with two phones and when they come with two phones why, why you try to detect one phone they are still with another phone then you think you have caught them with one and you allow them to enter inside why they make use of the other phone so mobile phone detector will help to detect such a phone now this is what is expected to be in your right up okay let's look at chapter one now i'm using a mobile phone detector my phone detector has become an integral part of people's lives now i'm going to study we'll talk about how the study have affected humanity from from beginning how the construction have affected humanity from the beginning us for us now we talk about mobile phone detector we talk about things it has touched before they are not only used in in just a limited environment alone they are used worldwide eh? they are used to send short message they are used to call mobile phones we use mobile phones to do so many things online so it is not advisable to advise people not to use phone because of examination my parties no rather we are making a mobile phone dictator just to detect that now emails and internet but advanced okay okay we have in chapter one i'm trying to correct that chapter one it's supposed to be at the middle that is at the center part control e should do that centralize control e should do that okay i think i'm having a props doing that let us move they are not used for communication via short messages they are not only used for communication via short messaging service they also use them for email internet the recent years have rapidly now despite the advantages enjoyed by this advancement in mobile phone there are threats that have been posed by their usage first of all we'll talk about the advantage of it talk about what is useful for then at the background of our study we'll talk about the disadvantage of it too what it has cost for and eh, that we have to to do it that i have to solve now the statement of the problem is talking about the problems we are about to solve and why the reason why we are solving it for instance, the statement of the pro problem for mobile phone dictator is that frisking of students or checking students externally or physically, it is not enough. But we have to look for something that we will be able to detect if a student is with a phone, irrespective of checking him physically. Then 1.3, the research objective, talking about the goals of the proje project. Now, design a cycle that can detect signals in the range of 0.9 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz with a radius of one and a half meters. Those are the, that is the first goal to, de to design a project that can be able to detect phones from 0.9 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz. So you also should also write the goal of your own project. Now, number two, we said to provide after you have you have made it to be able to detect a phone. From, uh, that can detect phone from 0 0.9 gigahertz that is 900 megahertz to 3 gigahertz you should be able to also provide a notification you should be able to provide a notification that will be able to tell us that this phone have, uh, this mobile phone detector or this device have been have detected a phone how do we know through like a sound or through lights shining like diodes like that is light emitting diode or buzzer make when when it makes sound and it can also show uh, in liquid crystal display we can see it a uh, display and that's one we need us to go and what us to go and program it 
with system or something like that. Your own tool should have a way it works that shows people that this thing is working and how and what we've been shown to show, show that it's really working. Okay. And 1.4, contribution to the knowledge. How does what you are researching on or what you are constructing, how does it contribute to the knowledge, to the previous knowledge, like now? For, 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 for instance, if you are making an electric hot plate, the previous knowledge before the electric hot plate are stove, firewood, and so on. So now, you are not bringing a new knowledge now. How does it contribute to it? What does it add? What, what a value did it add to that the other ones don't have? Like now, for this, instead of free skin of students, checking them eh, manually eh, or manual inspection, which cannot reveal 100% the presence of mobile phones, I can use a mobile phone detector to check it, to check if a student is with a phone, and it will surely ring, it surely show me what my physical eyes could not see. The mobile phone detector can what? Can detect. The next one is limitation to the project. Now, this project is limited to when you are in airplane mode, or, or your phone is off, or you are in flight mode. Any of this method is limited to it. For instance, hot plate is limited to electricity. If there is no electricity, it will not work. Now, the methodology is talking about the methods you use in constructing the mobile phone detector, your project, what the method you use. Now, definition of terms. Terms in, in, in meaning that all what you use, you will define it one after the other. For now, in, the, the, in mobile phone detector, we need a mobile phone. You define mobile phone. We use antenna for detection. We use a, operating amplifier. You have to define it. Integrated circuit. We make use of monostable multivibrator. We make use of amplifier. We make use of diodes. We make use of resistor. We make use of piezo buzzer. Make use of grid switch. Made of battery. Made of light uh, emitting diode. And resistor, we've said about that. We've talked about condenser, we've talked about capacitors, and so on. So now, that's all for chapter one. Please don't mind the mistake that is there where you see chapter one continuation on, on top of chapter two. No, no, no. It's a mistake. So your own chapter two should be distinct. It should be on a new page. Chapter two, talking about literature review. Then we have 2.1, a brief outline of the mobile phone dictator. And this chapter emphasizes on history, theory, and types of mobile phone detectors. That means what the chapter 2 is talking about. Every point, every places we put there. Only what is in chapter 2 is the history, theory, and types of mobile phone. Now, we're going to talk about a brief outline of the history of what mobile phone detector. Talk about how mobile phone detector came to existence. What, what it prompted to existence. 2.3 is talking about the theories and concepts relevant to mobile phone dictator talk, just make sure that you talk about mobile phone dictator there must be reference there put reference put about people that said things about mobile phone dictator put as much as possible then the 2.3.1 we have review of different types of mobile phone this continuation of theories and concepts then we have these, these are different types of mobile phone we have commercial mobile phone detector we have wolf proof mobile phone detector we talk about their uses talk about what they are limited to and things like that now we show diagrams wolf proof Pro. some some chapter two don't have pictures but ours here have pictures normally a picture should start from fig, um, chapter three but sometimes it's allowed in chapter two for this now chapter three now we are having a brief outline of the chapter. A brief outline of the chapter. This chapter contains the research design, block by block unit, and the cycle diagram. These are the two things, three most important things there: research design, block by block. That is the diagram. That is the block. That is, that is the block representation of the cycle diagram of the or the construction. The block diagram of the construction. Then we talk about the research design. So design, how we design it, then instruments of the study. This is where it talks about where we got our materials from. We got materials from internet, journals, and so on. Now, this, this is the block diagram from HF loop, antenna, and that is all. We, talk, we now define each place, like the HF loop, that is high frequency loop, antenna, we define it, current to current, 
current voltage converter we talk about it we talk about everything that is on our diagram now now this is a place this is where we draw the current to voltage converter we draw it, the draw diagram we talk about every part of that block diagram now here at 3.3.4 we have the mobile phone detector we talk about mobile phone detector we talk about the use of lead and buzzer for a notification device and it cannot be used for standby mode we talk about how the current voltage converter can be as low as 10 millivolts. Just talk about mobile phone detector. And make sure that it is well explanatory. The next thing we talk about the bias analysis and so on. Now this is the cycle diagram. This is the main cycle diagram. It must be shown at the end of chapter three. This is the cycle diagram mobile phone detector. Cycle diagram must be as be well explanatory from the diagram now after that complete cycle diagram of it we have chapter 4 principle of operation of mobile phone detector we talk about the brief outline talking about principle of operation and so an expansion of various units in the block and this principle of operation how it operates the operation it it makes how how you uh, the working principle of the mobile phone detector you talk about it talk about the working principle of your own project too Talk about principle of operation. All these things you can get them free online. You can just Google principle of operation concerning your project and you get them. Now, expansion of various units on the block diagram. Now, look at this. We have spin every unit there. Now, here we have spin every unit in the block diagram. We are talking, you have seen the principle of operation. We talk about principle of operation. Now, every unit, like from that power supply regulation, we talk about it. Talk about the microcontroller, we'll talk about relay, we'll just come back to that block diagram we have previously. Then we'll talk about it. Then after that, we we'll talk about the stages, it undergoes, we we'll undergo some power stage, operational stage, and that and that. Okay. Now we have chapter five now. Chapter five, construction of mobile phone. We have to be a brief at line two. Here we have the project construction. We have the B of that is Beme. We have Beme there. A construction of mobile phone detector talk, talk about the choice of materials where we got them from again okay now construction of mobile phone detector talk about the frequency we make use of and some of the equipment some of the things we make use of like a we make use of capacitor we make use of conductor talk about if the device we make use of how we connect it how we put it everything we're going to talk about in the construction of the project okay now the elements of each dipole antenna are made of two lengths. The antenna is the main function there. It's the one that detects the signals there. The microcontroller is the one doing the main work there. Because without the microcontroller, it will not be able to collect signals from the antenna and not able to deliver it to the liquid crystal display or the buzzer. Okay, now this is the BEME. The BEME containing com component, description, quantity, unit cost, total, uh, the total amount and the, total, the sum total amount are the Last place will be some of the total amount of everything you bought. We we'll talk about every list, everything plus resistor, everything that you make use of. You we'll talk about how much you bought them, everything you use in your construction, all the way equipment to show that you are done. really, you you you, you really did it yourself, not not that you get give it to someone outside. Okay, so after seeing that, this is our nine volt battery capacitors, <laughs> cost us five hundred naira. Our amplifier cost us 1000, register 400 naira, uh, 50 naira times, times is that 8? We have 400. 8 of it is 400. We have our amplifier, first one, and transistor, which costs us 1000. For 2 is 2000. Uh, for the Amplifier costs 1000 and we only need one, so everything some data we're going to put that. And uh, next one, we have the result of test. The result of test is essential, we have to put that okay. The student that we test now, we test uh, like 165 students and with different kind of questions. We saw their response, the response was used to construct that graph that, that uh, by charts you see. And their response is, is tabulized there. The number of users, the people that say yes to it, and people that say no to it. You can see the respondent, you can see the percentage, you can see the performance. Now, these are questionnaires concerning those 
that one one sixty five questions we ask. Now, the questions are long as much as possible. We have to put that. Now we have chapter six. Now this is the final place. Chapter six, conclusion or summary of mobile phone detector. You talk about the summary of chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, chapter six. Like now for chapter five. This chapter discusses the brief outline, choice of material, use and construction of mobile phone detector. Talk about brief outline to um, chapter 6. Just like the brief outline that we mentioned. Now, the problems encountered, like now, we have a problem as no work is perfect. One, uh, we have damage of some components. We have scarcity of required components, insufficient fund of modification, can't detect phone when switch off, standby. Those are the problems we encountered while, while consulting it. Now, recommendation. Places that we can recommend this mobile phone dictator to. We, we recommend it to governments, private schools, and both public and government. We, we recommend it to church, mosque, banks. We recommend it to, to prisons area. A suggestion for further study. Okay, we want to make sure that it is able to detect Bluetooth transfer and it is also able to work on 4G network and so other advanced mobile phone detector that we can make use of. Now, these are our references. Now, references must be in alphabetical order. Okay, it must okay. go from A, B, C, D to Z. Yeah? So, your references should make sure that it is in what alphabetical order. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Emperor loves you. Too. We have here the pressure, the pressure amplifier, also the initial stage. We have here the voltage amplifier.